So now we look at the halting problem. Typical problem in computer science, which is undecidable. The problem is we have an arbitrary program uh, whose source code we have available, an arbitrary input that we pass to that program. And we are asking the question, will the program finish running or will it continue to run forever? So we can see some features of this problem, which are very similar to the one that I've already presented. It's a general problem with an arbitrarily large number of cases. Each specific program with each specific input represents a specific instance of the problem. Uh, both program and input can be arbitrarily large, but they are finite in each case. And uh, the answer is fairly simple. In this case, it's simply a yes or a no. And all information is available and formalized. So in each specific case, the solution can be found. And uh, <coughs> the question is, can we construct the Holtz algorithm so that it provides the correct answer in every possible case? So <coughs> here is the, a sketch of an explanation of uh, why the halting problem is undecidable. Um, we got the program and the input and the Holtz function that we've seen the, in the previous slide. And we start trying to construct uh, a paradox. The first thing is we add an inversion. So we add a snippet of code in between the program and the input and the Holtz function, which does the inversion. So it reads the program, reads the input, passes them to the Holtz function. The Holtz function returns an information, which is whether the program holds or not. And then what the algorithm does, it does exactly the opposite. So if the program holds, the algorithm conti continues to run forever. And if the program continues to run forever, the algorithm holds. And we, in this way, we have created the inversion. Next, we need to create the self-reference. So this is the same as the previous slide, except that instead of an arbitrary program, it's the algorithm that passes its own source code to the Holtz function. And in this case, the, what the Holtz function returns is a prediction. The Holtz function says, you are going to halt or you are not going to halt. And then the algorithm does exactly the opposite. So now the question is, does the algorithm halt or doesn't it? And the thing is, no matter how sophisticated the Holtz algorithm is, it will give the wrong answer in this case. And this in static analysis is a typical situation where you've got a tool analyzes its own source code. It cannot predict what it's going to do.